VFL today, the race for the finals continues. And out at VFL Park, the game is like a final for the Saints and the Magpies. Last year's Premiers are making a desperate scramble for the six, while the Saints, who made such a great start, have lost three of their last four matches and are in danger of slipping out of the six. It's also do or die at Princes Park. Every week now is a final for Melbourne, while the enigmatic Blues will be desperate to end the Demons run. It's all coming your way on AFL Today. And a very good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to AFL Today on this wintry old night, the sort of afternoon where you could almost hear the hamstrings pinging from the back of the stand. But we've got two great games, so I hope you're nice and warm, can settle back, relax and enjoy some great football. Out to Prince's Park and also out to VFL Park. First up, out to Prince's Park for the clash between Carlton and Melbourne. The Blues, incidentally, today were going for their 100th win against Melbourne. The Demons on the other hand on a bit of a roll at the moment and Carlton would have been very upset after losing last week to the Brisbane Bears. Let's have a look first up at some of the highlights of the first three quarters of this game at Prince's Park. Lion going to ground. Beveridge squeezes it beautifully to Jakovic. Really good kick that by Beveridge. 32 goals this season, most of them in the last five matches. Drop punt. And he's Got it. Madden sits and waits. Bennett over the back. Beveridge taken by Obst. Jakovic again the target. Kernahan tries to go with him. Oh, that's a good mark. Really added some sparkle to this Melbourne forward line. Drop punt. And he's kicked it through. Bryce fisting away from Dorotic. Meldrum inside the 50. 40 metres out, chips it across, and Phillips has taken the mark. He plays onto Arsiri. Arsiri goes Goldwood, and Carlton get there first. Spalding's hand pass, awkward, but Dyson controlled it eventually. Runs through the middle, goes looking for Jakovic on the lead once more. Kernahan almost a clever mark, but he fell over. Two Melbourne players standing initially. Lyon gets it across to Jakovic, who kicks a great goal. He's third. Ratton, who played the loose man in defence, sat and waited and uh, it didn't come off. Beveridge's hand to Dyson, who uh, breaks the Daruri tackle, then kicks it to an open goal square, and it runs and runs through for a goal. Oh. Ratton, just inside the 50. Floats a high kick back towards centre-half forward. Satori, good grab. Melbourne getting the first of the term into the breeze. Satori... Starts at the left, it bends back on the breeze, it's a goal. Good tackle by uh, Carlton then. Melbourne get it back though, Jakovic. A couple of big, deep breaths, gets the right line and drop punts the ball straight through the middle. Obst, close to the boundary line, does well. Obst runs to 40 metres out, centering kick, Jakovic. So Jakovic kicking at his fifth goal before half time here at Prince's Park and he's got it. Chance for the Blues, Satori the target. Oh. Courage there by Bryce. O'Sullivan, well that's very poor, but it is a goal. <laughs> Long kick the woods half forward. Lyon and Dean. Dean almost a superb mark, but Lyon comes away with it. Down towards Jakovic, it clears here and his marker and bounces through for a goal. Dorotic calling for it in the pocket. He kicks it towards Dorotic, Satori there as well. Dorotic, now Satori to kick a goal. And Lyon again, superb individual effort, centering kick. Jakovic is favoured by the kick, takes the mark, plays on, kicks his sixth. Yes, Mr. Jakovic, uh, the difference early on in this game as Melbourne leading 9-10-64, 20-point leaders over Carlton, 6-8-44 at three-quarter time. So it was going to be very important for Carlton if they were going to be in this game. They had to get early goals at the start of the last quarter. That's where we go now. Let's join our commentators for the opening bounce of the final term at Prince's Park. The start of the final term, the Demons lead it by 20 points. After a very competitive third quarter. Obst. High shoulder. This is Dyson. Runs towards half forward. Jakovic on the lead. Great mark. He really had to stretch for that one. He had five to half time. Kicked a late goal in the third quarter. It's 
So he's going at seven here. He really is in four. Alan Jakovic will kick from about 30 metres out. Strong cross breeze right to left. He is sheltered by the Carlton Social Club. Not bad. Just too far. This is to the far side. But Melbourne increased their lead. It's out to 21 points now. David Kernahan to kick it in. Straight down the middle. Maddens the target. Knocks it forward. Phillips held. Free kick. 15 and 5 for Phillips today. Kick number 16. Dorotich his target and he just falls into his arms in the end. John Dorotich has uh, taken seven marks. Short, Stephen Kernahan, oh, a lovely kick. Well, without putting too much pressure on Kernahan, because it's not an easy kick, this is uh, imperative that he scores. Must goal here. He's kicked 1-1. One, one. He's had a quiet day. He had a long run on the ball in the third quarter. And unfortunately for him, when he was on the ball, Melbourne got on top. And Madden was off the ground. And he's kicked it very poorly. And out on the floor. So not a good result for Kernahan or Carlton. They've got to make the most of uh, each and every one of their attacks in this last quarter. Yates, who started well. In the back pocket. Ops wants it short. Yates with a high one. Up to half back. Steins is always in the centre, but Gary Lyon at the back. Bounce speed Ops there. Gets it back to Jay Viney, who came on after half time. Clark couldn't take it. Yates uh, ran into trouble in the end. His handball wide. And some untidy football by Melbourne, but they got away with it. Ops and Bradley. And a fair bit of that going on for a bit of the day between the two. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder if they know they're on telly at the moment. I don't think so. It was tip for tap. Scored the fight about even. There's the throw in. Tengay. Todd Viney. Towards centre wing. Madden worked under the ball. Unfairly, says the umpire. Gary Lyon on report. Madden. Put it to Hannah. This is David Kernahan in space. Not a good kick, though. Just past centre, Bassett, gutsy mark. Bassett, plays on by hand to Rui, inside the centre square. He kicks down towards full forward, great mark, Kernahan. Terrific mark. Well held for the best part of the afternoon by Earl Spalding, but that time, really backing himself against the ball and raking it in. So his second chance in this turn. Closer in this time, he'll kick from about 25 metres out. Anything beyond about 35 metres is very tough at this exposed end of the ground. The Blues whipping across. Kernahan, a study in concentration. The Blues want this one. Looks good. He's got it. His second. Madden clearly. Todd Viney. Left foot to centre half forward. Bennett in front. Jakovic one out on the goal square with Sexton. Bennett goes wide to Lyon, who chip it to uh, the pocket. Oh, Clark got a bad bounce, but uh, didn't read it too well either. Round the body by Meldrum, only as far as uh, Jay Viney, or Dyson, I should say. A little alike with the long sleeves. Dyson's kicked the full forward. And the Sexton went up and took a good mark. It's been a terrific duel after halftime between this man Sexton and uh, Jakovic, who's been a star again today. Bradley should take it, misses it. And then well tackled by Obst. Dorotic, poor handball, Gary Lyon, Dean. Loses it in the end. Clark gives it up to Phillips. Nice handball to Bradley, socks down. Gets a lot of distance, Bradley, Arsirian Yates. Good contest. Little gift to Jay Viney. Run down. Good tackle, Arsiri. Stretch. Again, a good tackle, O'Sullivan. Rogue gone. Holding it. 
No, holding on to it. Three great tackles by Carlton. None of them rewarded, except that they've kept the footy there and may have some momentum up. Very stiff there, Carlton. Twice. Here's the ball up. Steins gets it down. James stands up in the tackle to Bradley. Towards full forward and Kernahan. And they'll call it against Kernahan. Umpire Sheehan goes across, indicating over the shoulder. And Spalding will get the free. So nothing doing for Carlton on their half forward line, but Melbourne get a free. Deep in their defensive area. Spalding goes in short. Love it. Plays on. Nicely. This is Road up from half back. Long kick towards half forward. Clark worked out of it by Meldrum. He shows good recovery. Not a good kick though. Obst. Wants to go and does. Todd Viney's got the run of it down towards right half forward. Eichel <laughs> trying to ship it. Bumped Bassett into the man who was carrying the ball, Todd Viney. And Todd Viney came back and did a bit to Bassett. Dean comes across. Getting a little ill-tempered down there at the present time. Don't often see that though. The Shepherd actually cannon the player into the ball carrier. This is Bradley. They need him to pick up possessions. Floats a very high one back towards centre wing. Ratton takes the mark. 23rd possession for Ratton. Gets it away to O'Sullivan. Kernahan run out. Oh, well played, Bryce. He must have gone back onto him. And the ball staying there. So where's Spalding gone for the moment? Oh, he's still there. He made the switch, Bryce, onto Kernahan. Yep. Steins and Dorotich. Dorotich wins it. Here's Spalding. Dyson. Drop putt, Meldrum in the good spot and takes it. Little chip pass to Arsiri. Not much gain, set possession. Was that 50 metres? No. Carlton fans looking for all the umpiring decisions, not getting many. The kick to half forward and uh, Bryce and Kernahan. Kernahan outnumbered. Bryce takes it, squares it to Eichel. Now Tingay will provide the run. James did very poorly there. He ran towards Tingay. He, uh, he ran towards the man with the foot. He should have ran with Tingay. Now he's back there. So he's made up for it, but gives away a free kick in the back. Jakovic leads. Sexton with him and takes a good mark. It really has been... Uh, the most interesting contest of the afternoon, even if it's only been for half of the match. Sexton has been terrific in the second half. Dorotich stumps it away. This is Jay Viney. Defensive side of centre wing, high up and under. Now towards half forward. David Kernahan over the top. Clark knocks it out. Dyson bumped off it well by Dean. He kept hold of it. He tied it up well enough for the Demons. 9-11 to 7-8. Just under 17 minutes remaining in the game. Melbourne 19 free kicks. Carlton 13. One down by Madden. Missed by Bradley. Taken by Lyon, who's been superb since half-time. Hannah on a collision course with Viney. And Viney did brilliantly. This is Eichold in the pocket. Hard against the boundary line. Tugs it back across his body. Ball to no avail. It's out of bounds on the full in the right full forward pocket. And Hannah and Viney... Both running at that football. Neither one reneged in any way. But Viney found it first. The sort of thing that will win this match. DeRui towards the outer side. James, big leap, good mark. Plays on quickly to Alvin. Centre half forward, Dorotich and Sporting. O'Sullivan, stretch with him. Well played, O'Sullivan. Wonderful footy for a goal. 8, 9, 11. O'Sullivan kicks his second. Just nine points in it. And out of the centre. Towards half forward. Satori couldn't control it. Road could have almost been holding the ball. Spalding comes away with some time. Sends play towards the outer side wing. Lyon going across almost the mark to Cuthbertson. Well done by Dean to Meldrum. Towards half forward. James, away he goes, kicks towards centre half forward and Satori in front, timely hand from stretch, it fell behind and Melbourne work it out, Lovett got it to Bryce, 
And this is Scratch, a second bounce. He's running across the ground. Back to Lovett now. He's at right half back. Kept his head well. Dyson has been impressive. Bassett almost the intercept there. Down goes Eichold, pushing the back, says the umpire. And that was the right decision. Dyson plays on. High kick towards centre half forward. The ball surrounded by Blues. After it goes Sexton. He sends play towards the outer side. And it bounces out of bounds. 14 and a half minutes remaining in the term. And of course, we're back the game. 9 11 to 8 8, Melbourne lead. But Carlton challenging. Sporting having a run on the ball. Meldrum left foot round the body. Love it. Well, yes, he did hold it. It was a good mark. A lot of people would think it hit the ground, but uh, he kept control of it. Short. Lucky for Clark. Now, Siri, be careful. You wouldn't want to give 50 away in this situation. Jakovic goes early and then goes back. Bennett. Just a little shorty by Clark. To Obst. Still out of range. Again short to Steins. Getting closer to range. Gained 20 metres in two kicks. But there's a big difference from uh, kicking from 50 and 70. Oh. Doesn't come off. Viney puts the pressure on Alvin. Ratton stood his ground. Hannah got pushed to the ground. Good tackle on Steins. Eichel with a little one. Oh, lovely trap, Cutlison. Jakovic left foot. Misses. Kick 6 3, Jakovic. And Melbourne, 9 12, 8 8, 66 56. David Kernahan. Straight down the middle with the kick. Back goes Madden. Knocks it on about 20 metres. James to Ratton, two of the young Tyros. Ratton inside the attacking 50 for the Blues. Off the ground by Road, a former Blue himself, and he gets it out of bounds. In the left full forward pocket for Carlton. Peter Road. He's worked hard in defence today. Very gloomy here at Princes Park now. Bitterly cold wind. Ball thrown in. Satori and Steins. Satori did well. O'Sullivan kicks it very high and away from their goal. Back goes Lyon. Willie Marciri. No mark was paid. Back to O'Sullivan. James in trouble. Robbed of the ball by Obst. He boots towards half forward for Melbourne. Beveridge used his body. Meldrum fell over. So did Beveridge. Kernahan battling with Bennett. Still it's Kernahan on his knees. Pushed in the back. He'll get the free kick. And listen to that roar from the Carlton fans. Scott Phillips very short, Kernahan decides to go long to Madden. Was that a good option? Doubt it. Poor kick. Steins takes it, gives it to Jay Viney, who kicks to the space. And it rolls out. Well, can the Blues kick two goals and keep Melbourne scoreless? That's what they have to do in 12 minutes. It's been an interesting game, a game that's built up as the day's gone along. Madden wrestling does well to Phillips, but uh, he really didn't have a good kick at it. He was uh, just a little one over the line. So his 17th kick, but uh, that one pretty ineffective. Gained a couple of metres. Spalding goes this time against Madden. Stein's playing a kick behind. Spalding wins it cleverly to Eichold, who kicks it very wide. Jakovic. Nice take. It's a powerful man, can kick a long way around his body, and he does demonstrate just then how far he can kick. And it's a behind. So 6 4 to Jakovic. His last three scoring shots have been points. 9 13 to 8 8. He's stretching it out, Melbourne, but not stretching it out far enough to be safe. Jakovic has six goals this afternoon. Exciting player. Did well to stand up on the turn out there. Let alone kick a goal, as it was, he kicked it behind. This is Bradley. Floats one down towards centre half forward and hangs in the air for an eternity. Yates does well. Good mark. Not a loose looking kick, but effective nevertheless. His intention was to put Viney in space. It's 
got space and time. Todd Viney towards centre wing and Aishol. Todd Viney, 13 possessions this afternoon. Well short of his normal quota, but it's not a day for that sort of football. This is Obst. Quietly effective. Just across the ground. They'll need to win this ball, Melbourne. They do. Well done by Jay Viney. Three on two. Dyson comes away from 50. Goes long. That's a magnificent kick. I think it's home. And it holds up in the breeze. Off hands picked up by Beveridge, who snaps. He's kicked it behind. Well, for a moment there, Dyson's kick seemed to have the carry. But the breeze grabbed it. And Beveridge, ever the opportunist, almost. Looking for some options here. Sexton straight down the centre. Long one. Host of players fly. Bassett cleverly. Then kicks it a long way. Kernahan and Bryce. Good bounce for Kernahan. High tackle, no free kick. Well, maybe initially slightly high. Kernahan doesn't look all that disappointed. So Carlton, two goals behind. Melbourne have had quite a few scoring shots of late, but they've all been behind. Yates smothered, Bryce, Tingay, Arsiri with him, might rob him too. Still Arsiri. And that would have been tough to pay that one against Arsiri because he did attempt to get it out. Obst, a very good tackler, good holder upper of it. And he's just looking for Bradley now and finding where he is because he's his man. Steins and Dorotic, Arsiri, Alvin, Jay Viney will run it out. It's a bit like a game of chess for a moment here with Carlton just trying to set up the right move to kick a goal. 8 8 9 14 in Melbourne, defending strong. Under nine minutes to go, boundary throw in, Dorotic in front, Steins working against him, Dorotic gets it down, Phillips the hurried kick. Up comes Kernahan, slipped over. Yates out of the congestion, only went about five metres. Dyson missed it. Phillips on his knees, Ob sliding in. Dyson emerges with the ball, but not in time to beat the whistle. So ball up, inside Carlton's attacking 50. It is very dark now. Steins and Dorotic. <laughs> Dorotic simply pushed him in the side. And it must be a Steins three. Although these days, with what goes on, Boundary throw-ins and bounce downs. One never knows. Mistake by stretch. Well done by James Bradley. Sends it back in for Carlton. Over the top. Lovett tried the mark. He should have punched. Doesn't matter. Yates tidies up. Away to road. Up from the back pocket. Hugs the boundary with a kick and Todd Viney takes the mark. At half back. Floating kick that gets a lot of distance. David Kernahan getting back. And kicks it round his body. And did it go out in the full no touch by Viney? Who says exactly that. I won't repeat it. I disagree. That's what Todd was saying. Forcibly. Yes. Now uh, Steins. Dorotic. Now Siri and I So uh, the Blues have... He's not only Madden today in the ruck, they've switched it around a bit. Eichold, it's about 20 metres closer to goal, De Rui. She spooled him as a bit over the back there, but no free kick, Arsiri cleverly. Alvin, Carlton continue to put pressure on. Hannah versus uh, Lovett, getting back Gary Lyon, who was the important player of the third quarter. Bryce taking chances, Melbourne, oh, wonderful tackle, O'Sullivan, but able to keep going, Jay Viney to stretch, free kick down the ground against the Blues. It goes to Bennett. Now Jakovic leads. Bennett kicks a good one. But the Sexton well played. Short. David Kernahan. He'll want it to sit. Bennett's tackled good. Kernahan did get rid of it at the time. And then Bassett with only one option left. And he did the right way. Very strong tackle, that one applied by Darren Bennett. Boundary throw in, centre wing. Game still up for grabs, 9-14, 8-8. Missed by Obbs behind. Bassett's over the ball. And the ball up. 
Andrew Obst has had a very good game today. 17 possessions, there he is. And has held Bradley to only 13. Right up there amongst Melbourne's best players, no question. Here's the bounce, Satori wins it down. Ratton's got it, his 25th possession, down towards half forward. Here runs free behind, Yates is first back. With some time, measures the kick out wide, intended for Clark. He's got it. Right half back. Taking plenty of time, and why not? Goes for distance, not a good kick. Alvin. So Carlton will move it forward again. Alvin plays on. Long kick towards centre half forward. Kernahan waiting behind. Marks on his chest. This is a testing distance. Bradley goes back to the square. Kernahan goes for distance. It's bending on the breeze. It's a goal. Just under five minutes remaining. Carlton have got up within a goal with Kernahan's third. Good tackle on Jay Viney. Todd Viney put it on Ratton. Ratton tries to squeeze it out. And that was like warfare in the trenches for a moment. And another ball up. Well... Melbourne have controlled this game for at least 75% of it and find themselves a goal in front and very shaky ground, knowing the consequences if they're beaten. Alvin taps it forward. Meldrum to the goal square. Bryce, Kernahan, still Kernahan. Oh, good smother by Bryce. Ratton, who's played very well, trying to hold it there. Jay Viney. Shocking hand pass. I reckon that's symbolic of uh, going to uh, water under pressure for a moment and the ball in. It was like a serve in volleyball, wasn't it? Untidy and not a good result. 9 8, 9 14. 62 to 68. Steve Kernahan's made a big difference on the forward line, just as his opposing skipper, Gary Lyon, did in the third term. He's assumed control down there for his team. This is Alvin. Pulls it back, just inside the 50. Ah, oh, Siri, did he have the ball? The umpire knocks him off now for holding it. Nates gets the three. Bit happening off the ball. Play on's the call. Lions away. The left half back. Boots it out wide towards centre wing. Fine mark, Eichold. Eichold is hurt. And he's slow to get up. Dean having plenty to say. Well, the past masters, Melbourne, are panning themselves into a corner and fighting their way out. And again, those instincts to the fore here this afternoon. Bennett up in front, Spalding an opportunity. Goes by hand to support and Clark. Back to Spalding, open goal. Gives it to Jakovic. He's kicked it. Jakovic has seven. Well, it's a hard life to be a Melbourne supporter. They've taken this one to the brink. If you feel that goal, they win it for them. They'll have a 12-point cushion now. 2.44 remaining in the game. And Jankovic, playing only his eighth game of the season, has 39 senior games, or goals rather, having a wonderful run. I think they might make 99 for the year. I think he had 60 in the reserves exactly. So nearly the time. Oh, got it. Ten, fourteen, nine, eight. Surely the demons home now. Satori in the centre. Beverage and a ball up. Well. Carlton will rue the uh, decision against Arceri, a hard one on him at half forward. But uh, Spalding and Jakovic combining to kick the goal, which should see Melbourne maintain a chance of playing in the, uh, the finals this season. The Bennett handball not good. Ob should have got a free kick and will get it. As Derui and Todd Viney get involved. And of course, that report of Gary Lyon looms large over Melbourne's future, doesn't it, Bruce? Yes, reported in the third quarter. He really was sparked into action. He kicked a couple of magnificent goals after that and created one for Jakovic. Bennett calling for it long. 
And uh, gee, Ops has kicked it a long, long way, and Bennett will take it. Well, he asked for it, and he got it. And he responded. The forgotten man in Melbourne, in many ways. His future must be clouded, with Djakovic kicking all the goals, and not an orthodox centre-half forward by any means, Bennett. But he's had ten kicks and three handballs. He's kicked woefully today, but this should be better. And it is. Bennett Today's kicks. game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1991 AFL Premiership season. Yes, the Demons getting home 11 14 80. Marvellous performance by Djakovic. He's in tremendous touch at the moment, booting seven today. Gary Lyon booted two. Carlton 10 8 68. Satori and Steve Kernahan each contributed three. But of course, the big news to come out of the game, as far as Melbourne supporters were concerned, was the report on skipper Gary Lyon. Now, we can tell you that the tribunal hearing on that report will be held tomorrow morning at AFL House. So I would imagine that during uh, our Sports World program tomorrow morning, we will have a result on the Gary Lyon hearing or, of course, during our football coverage tomorrow afternoon. Speaking of Sports World, we'll be chatting to Bruce right after this break.